Why do I still have this? Hey guys, it's Chloe. The live action adaptation of Wings, yes, that one, has been on Netflix for a few weeks now. There are tons of problems with the show that strip the original of its essence, but for a lot of people, one of the most noticeably lacking ones is the fashion. The Wings are known for their cute clothes, bright colors, and sparkle, but instead we get some really bland costuming. Everyone's wearing the wrong colors, everyone's dressed like middle-aged moms instead of teenagers, and nobody stands out. They didn't even try with Stella, who's supposed to be the fashionista of the group. She has maybe one cute outfit in the last episode, but otherwise she looks like a budget Betty Cooper. At one point while I was watching this, I thought to myself, I could dress these girls better out of my own closet. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Will these outfits be perfect? Probably not. My costuming budget is basically non-existent for this. But here we're simply going for improvement. So with that, let's get started. First up is Bloom. Okay, so I know that I actually do have a couple of canon costumes for Bloom, namely her season one outfit and her concept art from the 1999 Magic Bloom series. But I'm gonna try to use as few actual costume pieces at all because A, that would be kind of cheating a little bit, and B, I don't want to go all out on the characters that I do cosplay, whereas the others just get minimal effort. So that's probably why I won't be wearing any wigs for Bloom and Stella either, even though I technically have them. Oh wow, how have I not worn this shirt yet? Actually, I know why. I was saving this for a different version of Bloom, like either one of her season two outfits or a Pokemon trainer version of Bloom that is still on the cosplay to-do list. But might as well pull it out for this because why not? All right, let's see what we have in here. Just as a heads up, some of the stuff in here is gonna be a little bit wrinkled. My clothes are pretty jam-packed in there, so. Really sorry about that. I do plan to reorganize this and iron some things out in the future, but for now, just bear with me. Well, I did say I won't be using any current costume pieces. That doesn't mean I can't use a previous one. So, remember these? These are the original jeans that I used when I first started doing Casual Bloom. I only wore them for test photos, and then eventually I found the other pair on Poshmark and was able to modify those. So I use those now, but I think these could still work for our purposes here. So we're gonna go with these. You know, if I had a blue leather jacket, I probably would have thrown that on for Bloom as well, just to somewhat keep with Fate's aesthetic a little bit, because blue is still Bloom's color after all. Unfortunately, I don't have anything in blue. I only have red and black, and I think the red honestly is too much with Bloom considering her hair is already red, and yeah, that, that's too much red for me, so we'll skip the jacket for now. And you know what? The shoes are iconic. The shoes can stay. Okay, so as simple as this may look, I do like how it combines the fashion styles of both the live action and the animated shows. I know part of me thinks I played it a little too safe for Bloom, but I didn't want to just take the easy way out and throw on the costume because that wouldn't be fair for the other characters. And plus I wanted to create something unique and original for this particular challenge, but overall, we're not off to a bad start. I like this. For me, this works. We're gonna switch up the order a little bit here for this video, so next up is Flora. I know it's actually Tara in the show, but screw it. No hate against the actress, but we all wanted Flora. Oh, hi, Flash! So I had a couple of different ideas for Flora because I have so many florals in my wardrobe. So my first thought was this, because I do like the blue and pink a lot, but then I remembered that blue is Bloom's color, so then I thought maybe the red one. But I don't know if red is a little too loud for Flora. She usually wears pink. So I don't think I'm gonna go with these two, but I think they could be considered for alternate outfits for, for like a one-off episode. Because they know they do have those in the show sometimes. I also considered this dress as a possibility for Flora. If you look up close, it does have a flower print that goes all the way to, you know, top to bottom. So I kind of like that, but I know she usually wears a skirt. I don't know if I'm gonna go with that. So many choices. I like this. I mean, the sparkles might be a little bit more Stella, but I can always just flip that over to the not sparkly side. But I like this because it's very flowy, which kind of fits Flora as well, being the nature fairy. And then for the bottoms, 
I like this, like a, like a light green, because you know, green's the color for wings, and she does kind of wear green as an accent in her outfits sometimes, so. What do you think? Maybe? Possible contender? Yeah, I'm gonna make this work. Actually, going through my armor again, I really like this for Flora. I love the pink, I love the flowers, they both suit her very well. So I think I'm gonna give this one to Flora instead. I mean, they're not a one for one match for the outfit that I just picked out for her, but I absolutely love these because flowers. And also these are made by the Italian brand shoemaker, so points for those because those are made, those trace back to Italy, which is where the show is from. So I like these a lot. So these are gonna be four issues. Oh, wow. I mean, I knew this was gonna be super cute, but I think I might actually add this to my outfit rotation for the next time I have somewhere to go out. If only COVID would just end already. But yeah, I love how everything pops from head to toe with the flowers up here, the flowers down there, and this nice seafoam skirt in the middle to really kind of tie all, all these pieces together. So yeah, I consider this one a win. Well, next up is our other beloved Winx who is sadly cut from the Netflix adaptation through no fault of her own, Tecna. So I did originally want to use this top for Tecna because I do think it fits her style pretty well, but still looks kind of cool. But most of the purple bottoms that I have are different shades of purple and none of them really match this particular top. So I'm going to have to skip this for the, skip over this for now, which is a shame because the shirt is actually made by an Italian brand, which would have been so fitting for Winx since that's where the show is from. But that's okay. We have some other alternatives we can try. Luckily, we have these purple skinny jeans that I think would work nicely for Tecna. And I'm gonna switch things up a little bit because it's her kind of her secondary color. I'm going to be using a green t-shirt for her. I think this would look really cool. I think it's I think the green and purple together would be a really fun pair of pop of colors. So we're gonna go with that. And then I'll probably give her a pair of sneakers. I think I have a pair that might work for her. I know some of you may not be a big fan of yellow and I totally understand that yellow is not for everybody, but the green laces match Tecna's shirt perfectly, so these are gonna be Tecna's shoes. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could work some more purple into this, but none of my purples just seem to match and the ones that could have logos and stuff on them, so I couldn't really use those. But if I had to use another color, green is probably the safest choice because that's kind of Tecno's secondary color since those are the color of her wings and she kind of has some green accents on at least her season one outfit and some of her outfits in the later seasons, but hey, it's not bad. I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of hard to judge because we don't have Tecno in live action wings, so who knows how they would have dressed her if she was in, the, in it. Like, it's not great, it's, it's passable. Alrighty, next up, let's do Musa. So I know red is Musa's color, but I don't really wear a lot of red outside of formal wear. I know she kind of starts working some light pink into her wardrobe in seasons four and five, but I don't have a lot of light pink. I really only have hot pink, which I don't think suits Musa all that well. So for today, we are gonna go with this light purple tank top. And I do have these blue skinny jeans that I surprisingly haven't worn before, but these are kind of akin to her season one jeans that she wears, so I really like those, so we're gonna go with these. You know what? Let's get Musa the red leather jacket because why not? And then she can also get my slip-ons as well. Okay, well first off, I can't get over how versatile this jacket is. Shout out to Captain All Might Cosplay for gifting me this for an Emma Swan cosplay all those years ago, because it's obviously served me very well in not only that cosplay, but other ones that I've done and now this today. I was kind of hoping that I could use the blue pants to put together something more akin to Musa's season one outfit, but unfortunately I don't have any red in my wardrobe that I could use up top, so I kind of had to improvise. So I was kind of going more for Musa's outfit from season five, but I don't have a pink vest of any kind, so I thought the jacket was a decent substitute because Musa's color is red, so 
I think this works for her. I don't know if it screams Musa, but I think it's more Musa than the actual Musa we got in Fate, so. For that, I consider this a win. With that, next up, we have Aisha. Now, I know Aisha is the sporty one, so I do like cargo shorts for her, but I don't think I can pick these because I know she doesn't wear them in the show. In her season two slash season three outfit, she wears a skirt. I mean, I know, she, I know her original outfit when we meet her, she's wearing pants, but I don't have the exact same shade of pants that she wore. So I'm going off based off of her season three outfit. So the closest thing that I would have to her skirt would be these shorts. I do like these shorts, so I think we're gonna go with these. And this is the one light pink piece that I have in my armoire. I thought this was too sporty for Musa, but I think this will work just fine for Aisha, so we'll give her that. And Aisha gets my running shoes. So as you can see, I did end up going with the cargo shorts last second. The shorts were way too tight and looked very unflattering on me and I wanted to spare your eyes and my legs of the suffering. So this is what we have as the final outfit. Eh, I mean, it's okay. I think if this logo up here were purple instead of white, I think this could have worked a little bit better, but I don't think it stands out as much as the other characters that we've seen already. I mean, it's still better than the drabby momish look that we see in Fate, but I don't think it's as big of a win as some of the other ones that we've had already. I mean, it's okay, but I don't know. It's you wouldn't even be able, be able to tell that she's from Wings just based off of this, so that's why I think it's more of a miss for me this time. But I mean, I tried. I mean, I went for the sporty look, so... I, I tried, guys. I really, I really tried. And last but not least, we have the fashion queen herself, Stella. And as you'll soon find, there's a reason I saved her for last. Stella's actually going to be the hardest one to dress because, first of all, I don't have a lot of orange or green that aren't costume pieces. And also, I just don't dress like Stella at all. I'm definitely a little bit more comfy and casual, that type of person, so... Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see what we can find. I mean, this might be something that we could start with, since... I just wish it was a couple shades lighter, so it's closer to her Season 2 and 3 dress. But I could dress this up with a pink bell, and then maybe if I could find something pink up top to go with it that just might be enough. I do kind of like this too. I know I've worn this for casual Minako for a couple videos, but part of me thinks that this could work for Stella too, but the other part of me thinks that she would never be caught dead in plaid, so I'll probably put this one back. Now, I think my hot pinks might work a little bit better for Stella. Hopefully they're enough, but we shall see. I feel like this scar could possibly use for something. Maybe. Not gonna lie, I'm actually really stumped here. I do have this dress, which is a little bit lighter, but I don't know if ruffles are really Stella's thing either, so... I mean, I'll keep it in mind, but I don't know if that one's gonna work either. I'm not sure how Stella would feel about polka dots, but I do have a matching pair of sandals, so I think this might be acceptable. I just have to dig the sandals out from underneath my bed, because that's where my, I keep my shoes that I don't wear very often, but... Yeah, I think this might work. I mean, Stella does wear some blue on occasion throughout the series, even if it's not her signature colors. She has a lot of one, different one-shot outfits that range in different shades of blue. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. Hey there, polka dots. It's been a while. Okay, first of all, moment of appreciation for the shoes. I only wish they were easier to walk in, but why just be like that? Even throw in a little hair ribbon just for funsies. It's amazing to see how much clothes I have that I've either never worn at all or haven't worn in a while. I mean, I am kind of one of those people who recycles the same handful of outfits every day. I mean. I'm sure other people can relate. I haven't worn this in a while. I would like to maybe start wearing it more often again, but first I gotta lose some quarantine pounds because this was actually hard to get on. Harder than I thought it would be. But I mean, 
Overall, as far as this goes for Stella, I mean, points that it matches, Stella's very big on matching. I just wish that it was either a different pattern or a lighter shade of blue, because if it were either of those two things, I feel like this would be a slam dunk and this would fit her to a T. I mean, the navy blue is not bad, but I, I don't remember it being one of the blues that she usually wears. I mean, I think it's cute. I think it's cute for Stella, but I just don't know if it screams Stella, but considering Stella was definitely the hardest winks to style, I think I did an okay job. Overall, these turned out pretty well considering I only had my own wardrobe to work with. I know I could do a lot better if I had Netflix's costuming budget, but even with what I have at home, I still did better than what we actually saw in Fade. I think Flora's was definitely my favorite outfit today, with Musa being a close second. Blue's and Tecna's, I would say, are mid-tier, and then Stella's and Aisha's are closer to the bottom. I mean, I still like these outfits, but they're still pretty far off from their animated style compared to the others. I wish I had more options for these two, but for that I would need to expand my wardrobe a bit. Anyway, tell me which Winx inspired outfit was your favorite in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, share button, and subscribe to my channel button. You can also follow me on my other social media links in the description. I do have a 10 Winx Club outfits to closet cosplay list on my blog, so check that out if you're interested. And I will see you in the next video, because I gotta go clean my room now. Bye! You're still there, Flashy? The video is over. Go home now. I'm just kidding, obviously you are home. But seriously.